Wes Craven has this amazing way of making me hate him. Ugh. This is what really bothers me about Wes Craven. He has great ideas and a fantastic ability to make films, but his actual ability to produce them on a regular basis is in question. He can create it a great and original film, but then his sequels suck ass. He has a lot of ideas and can easily put them to the screen, but he can't always make them flow together. He can produce some of the most memorable films in the horror industry, then destroy them by continuing the story well beyond they were well beyond where they were actually supposed to go. This is Dracula 2000. There are a couple of issues, reasonable issues, I have with this film. I have issues with the whole blood thing, uh, the leeches, and so on. There are some other issues, small things mostly, that really are too insignificant to go into individually. The special effects are really not that special. There's a lot of CG here and not a lot of makeup, so not much there. But all told, these are not really big problems. Now for the actual good parts. There was some really clever ideas. Some ideas I've never seen before, nor would have ever thought of. Some of the acting was great. Particularly on the part of Dracula, being soft-spoken and producing more atmosphere than dialogue, which worked really well for this character, actually. I also thought that the history they chose for Dracula was very interesting and clever in its own right. And there is some really good dialogue in this film. What kills me is, I wish that Wes could be consistent so I could decide whether to love him or hate him. And this is one of those films, unfortunately, caught in that conflict. But I was able to see past that, and I give it a 5.4 out of 5. It earned it, and it deserves it. Wes Craven, however, I really really am on the ropes with you.